I'm Winnie Meads and I'm going to show you how to do a bobsled painting. This one's actually a mono sled because it's the first time in 2022 that there's going to be women mono sled which is one person in the sled for the Olympics. The supplies you need for this are, you could do this all with just markers or you can do what I did. I did uh, oil pastels or you can use crayons, watercolor paints, paintbrush, water container, paper towel to wipe your brushes on, pencil and eraser for drawing. I outlined with black Sharpie and watercolor paper. Okay, go grab your supplies. Let's get creating. I started by drawing the track that the bobsled is going to be in and you need to make sure you leave room for your bobsled. So I started at the top and came down part way and did a curvy line and then I doubled it and then I did the same on the other side where I came over and did sort of a curved line and I doubled it. Next we're going to draw our bobsled and I kind of printed off some pictures like this is a Canadian one that's uh, black with a Canada flag these are some other ones that are red. So I think just um, you design the bobsled you want. Well, this is a mono sled because it's one person. So we're gonna, let's start with the helmet. So we're gonna come part way down because we kind of want our bobsled to be here. And we're gonna do the helmet. So draw a pretty big circle. Let's draw a circle for now. Okay, and then if we look at the pictures, we see that they have a kind of a visor area. So we're just gonna draw that in. Okay, and you can decorate the helmet any way you want. So now we're gonna draw this kind of W shape that comes up over the helmet. So we're gonna come up, do a triangle up over, like a curve like that, where the helmet is. And then we're gonna come over to the side and over to the side. So this is kind of like those wings on the sides. Then I'm just gonna do like little lines here and here, which is kind of like the shoulders of the person, could be the shoulders of the person. All right, pretty easy. So we did a sort of a W with a curvy part here. So start with a curve, go up and up the wings. And now we're gonna do curves on either side, like so. And we're gonna bring this all the way down and around. So that's sort of the front shape. Great. And then we're gonna draw this part, part way up, kind of like the front of it. So just do a line here and a line here, and then carry it over to the sides. And just erase those inside parts because it's in front. There we go. And then we're gonna draw this sort of sled part in the front here. So we're gonna just do coming on either side like that, two lines on either side. And then just do lines coming down like that. And we're gonna double it. and then do like a little like line like that. There we go. So just tidy up some details. So this part's over the helmet. So we'll take that away and make sure that's in front and there. 
we have the outside of our mono sled. Now we need to add whatever decorations you want. So you design yours the way you want. I'm going to put a maple leaf on mine. So a maple leaf is a triangle. And then you do two smaller triangles. You do a triangle, triangle, and then you come down. And then you do the same thing. So little triangle, big, little. And you can turn your paper on the side if you find this easier. Do the same on the other side. And then they go out like that. And there. <laughs> Make sure it's even. There we go. And I might add some lines on the sides just to make it look more sleek. I might color those something different, maybe. And the helmet can add designs to the helmet. Maybe I'll add some fun lines or something to the helmet. And I think that is all done. I'm also going to put some lines back here to make it look like it's moving super fast. So now I'm going to outline everything with a black sharpie and you can do this too or you can go right to uh, coloring it in. Outlined everything with black sharpie and let it dry a little bit and now I'm just making sure I erased all the pencil lines and then I'm going to show you some fun coloring tricks to make it look like there's more movement. So I'm going to start with my white oil pastel and blue oil pastel. So I'm going to get my white. I'm going to start with doing the, the icy track. So I'm going to make sure my white is nice and clean. It's often dirty. <laughs> and I'm going to take some blue. Like so. Okay, so I'm going to start with some lines of blue. Okay, so this is going to really make it look like... There's lots of movement and that the track is kind of 3D. And I'm going to color really light blue on the sides so then it makes it look more 3D. Kind of like there'd be a shadow under where the rim is, kind of. Okay, and then the rest of this is going to be white. I'm going to blend that blue on the sides with the white like so and then I'm going to go for it so that blue is going to blend and move a little bit and really make the track look more 3D and this works well with oil pastels with crayons it's a little harder to blend but it will still look really good here we go Oh, what a difference that makes. It looks really cool. I like it. Okay. Yeah, and then some of these, I'm going to take the side of my old pastel and just add a little tiny bit of blue where those lines are. Just a little bit more and blend it in with the white. There. Really makes it look like a track now. Very good. Okay, now next I'm going to color these edges like a dark blue. I think I'm going to use this darker. Oh, I think I'll use this one. And I'm going to color it solid. So with oil pastels, they're quite soft, so you don't have to press as hard as you do with crayons. So I'm just going to color these sides in. And you'll see how that really makes it stand out now when you choose a color that will look good beside the white. Edges are all colored in. And now I'm going to have fun coloring this in. I think I'm going to stick to sort of blues and reds when I'm coloring. So I think I'm going to do this for sure. The, 
the maple leaf is going to be red. And I guess I could make it like a Canada flag. So I'll do the, maybe I'll leave the inside white and I'll do red on either side. Kind of like that. But you decide, there's no tricks to this kind of coloring. Just have fun coloring in the way you want to. Like that. And then I'll do this bottom part red as well. And then this front part can make it black. A lot of the times that front part is kind of black. So I'm going to do that. Black. It's good to do black last because it will it will make your other colors muddy if you get some of it into it. So try and do the black areas last if you can. And then I think I'm gonna do the helmet with black in the center, the visor part. And then I might do a red helmet just so it stands out more. So I probably should have taken my advice and done the red first, <laughs> but that's okay. Or we could do blue. Maybe blue would look different. Yeah, let's do blue. We'll kind of tie in to the track then. Uh, yeah, I'm going to design a different kind of helmet. You add in what you would onto your helmet. There, I kind of like that actually. That looks pretty. It's a little darker because the blue is beside it, but that's okay. Looking good. So for the background, you can see on this one, I did like a wet on wet technique. So it kind of looks a bit blotchy, which I think looks cool. Kind of makes it look like more movement again. So I'm just going to do wet on wet, which is wet your paper with clean water and a pretty big brush. And then I'm just going to get some blue. Crayola has changed their watercolors lately, and this blue in it is so bright and beautiful. You'll see. So I filled both sides with lots of water, and now I'm going to get really watery blue paint and just dab it in. Ooh, it looks so fun. I'm going to let it sort of bloom and do its thing makes it kind of splotchy and fun. Yeah, that looks good. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Make sure that's still wet and your brush is still really wet. And just let the paint kind of move and do its thing. When it dries, it's going to look kind of marbly. It will look really cool. There we go. There, that's going to look really cool when it's done, when it dries. Here's my finished art. I can't wait to see what yours looks like. If you liked this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe for more fun art activities for kids.